Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it was very highly requested. Okay, by like highly, I mean like five to ten people. But it was requested that I talk about the worst K-pop idols I've ever interacted with. But I thought it was a little unfair to only give spotlight to the worst. So I'm also going to talk about the best. And obviously for the worst, I don't want to call anyone out. I don't want to exploit them, I guess, for what they did. Because in no way is this a reflection of who they are as people. It's just my bad experiences with them. So I am going to use other names or initials to describe them. Maybe I'll use initials to kind of give you a little hint. And then also for the best groups, I I think I can just say who they are because I'm speaking highly of them. So I'm gonna start with... Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe since the worst was requested more, I'll start with them. And then I'll end it on a brighter note. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I do. Okay. So actually I got, I have notes. I wrote, let me go get that and then I'll be right back. All right. I got my notes. So let's get right to it. I said I was going to start with the worst, right? Okay. So the first bad experience I've ever had was with a group. I was like a huge fan. I loved all their music. I thought all their concerts were amazing. I think if anything, when I thought about working with K-pop idols, like this is before I even started working, I always thought like, oh, I want to go to the, one of their concerts. I want to meet them in person. So you have to understand I had this like really big, expe really high expectations for these people because I was just such a fan. And so I had an opportunity where, where I got to work with them and I was very, very lucky to do so. This, oper or this experience for me was kind of good and bad. I had a lot of great experiences with some of the members, but of all the, you know, like hundreds of idols I've met, this group I think was the worst at greeting people. And this is kind of surprising because in the industry they were always praised for how well they greet others and how they bow 90 degrees on stage to other juniors of theirs but for me personally i understand i'm not a fellow idol i'm not a celebrity i don't know i was just a staff so maybe they just thought it was very business related. Really, it was a very business relationship which it was but um there was one instance in particular where we, in the Korean culture, it's very important that we greet others with a lot of respect. And especially in a professional environment, you want to be greeting them very nicely. You know, the standard 안녕하세요 with a good bow. And then, oh, I'm sniffling again. Oh, maybe I'm still sick. Okay, anyway. And they were... So one member of this group was passing by with his manager. Oh, okay, so, oh, I guess you know it's a guy. <laughs> I always do this to myself. Anyway, this member was passing by with his or her manager. And then, you know, I was standing there by myself at the hotel. I was greeting them. And I looked right at him and I said, 안녕하세요 with a 90 degree bow. And like, there was no way he didn't know I was there and he didn't know I was talking to him because there was just no one else around us. And he kind of like, he looked up. So he was like walking with his head down. And then I was like, 안녕하세요. So he looked up and he just went, he looked at me like with a bit of a side eye. And then he just turned his head and walked the other way, straight to the elevator. And I was kind of like, okay you know, benefit of the doubt. Maybe he thought I was a fan and he didn't want to be bothered. I'm not sure. Maybe he was having a bad day. He was tired. I don't know. But 
I gave him the full on 90 degree bow and he just gave me a split second side eye. And so that was you know, uh, kind of like, not shattered, but painted him in a different light for me. And you know, ever since I saw him years and years and years later, I got the chance to see him a few more times and same thing, anytime I graded him, I never got a response. So I, I think he was one of the worst people I've met because everyone else is so good at it and I just think that's like a basic thing you need to do. So yeah, one of my worst. Another bad experience I had was with another group with the initial B. And this group, I want to just put it out there, um, a little background info. If you're of a certain popularity and you have a lot of staff members, what we try to do on tours is we try to block the hotel floor to everyone on the tour group so that you know you don't have fans who are on the same floor as you. So I will contact the hotels and then they'll try to accommodate where we'll be on either like one half of a floor or we'll have the entire floor to ourselves. So there is a lot of privacy at the hotel in terms of being around people you know. I'm sorry, there's always something in my eye. Yeah, so in terms of being around the people you know. So one experience I had was I was walking down the hallway of the hotel and I overheard a conversation between a member of group B and um, one of the managers and I remember the manager was just asking a simple question what do you want to eat for lunch and this member was like oh I don't want to eat anything and the manager said um, you should maybe you should try to eat something we have a lot of schedules coming on later on are you sure I think he was just trying to make sure because all the other members were ordering food so the manager was like are you sure I can get something from a different place if you don't want to order from here just anything at all what do you need and then this person was like I told you I don't want to eat anything get out of my room and I was like whoa so then you know like I'm kind of watching from the end of a hallway and he the manager was like walking backwards out the room and then he's like okay I'm sorry to bother you um hope you have a good night and then he's like, as he's closing the door, you just hear the idol member like cursing at him, you know, in the like a Korean version of like an F you, F you for bothering me, blah, blah, blah. And then very just like highly heated, I, like I almost want to say verbal attack where this person was like, you like get out of my sight, you know, like things like that. And I was just like, whoa, because I remember seeing this group on TV too. Oops, sorry, I keep touching something. I remember seeing this group on TV too. And this group is very sweet and innocent and look like they couldn't hurt a fly. But I mean, to see all that in anger inside, I was just like, whoa, you know, Coming from a staff member's perspective, I do think they deserve a little bit more respect than that. It's easy to just be like, I don't want anything, it's okay, but thanks for asking and just kind of end it there. But like an F you don't bother me, I already said no one time, why can't you listen? I think it was just extremely rude and inconsiderate. And just ever since I've always just kind of kept my distance. Like, I don't want to go too close to them. So just kind of back off a little and just try to avoid these situations. <laughs> so that's them. I forgot to mention, you might be wondering, because like in the screen it looks like I'm wearing a weird sweater, which I am because it's Christmas season. So I'm wearing like a ugly, ugly Christmas sweater because honestly, when else can I wear this? And it even has like a, I don't want to stand up, but at the bottom, it has like a little Christmas tree. And I guess you can see the sleeves. It's a very um, loud Christmas sweater. 
yeah, for the Christmas holidays. So Merry Christmas if you're watching this. Hopefully I put this video out by Christmas. It's actually this Friday. Christmas is this Friday in like three days, I think. But I hope this goes out, you know, festive. <laughs> anyway, um, another bad experience I had was there was backstage um, an interview room and it was at the end of a hallway and so the artist will kind of have to it was like on opposite sides of the artist dressing room so they kind of have to walk a while to get there at, like separate from the artist and in this interview room I remember um an artist was being walked over I want to call this artist initial is because it's one person in particular last name starts with an l so um mr l decides that he's gonna walk to the interview room with his manager and i was at that event i was responsible for escorting the artist to the interview room interview room because there was like a security door in between and the security and i knew each other very well so you know, I had access of bringing anyone back and forth that I wanted to. So I'm like escorting this, I'm escorting L through these doors and he takes one look at the interview room and he looks at the chair inside that he's supposed to sit on and he just goes, is that my chair? And his manager said, yeah, that is, you're gonna sit there and they're just gonna interview uh, like a few questions at most, it's gonna, it's only gonna take a few minutes maybe like five minutes at most and that's it and then this L person he looked at it and he was like I can't sit on that chair change it and he just turned around 180 and he walked back to his dressing room and I was like mind blown like wow I I couldn't even understand that this would be a kind of thing that they'd really care that much about Personally, even now I'm sitting on like a plastic stool and I'm sitting for a long period of time, but to sit on like a nice, it was like a nice one-seater, like plush chair, like couch kind of. It was very plush and I think it looked really nice and even kind of fancy, but he wanted nothing to do with it. So he walked away and I had to be the person to look for more chairs. I took pictures of all the options, sent it to the manager, had to get an approval for one, and then that's the one he sat on for five minutes. So yeah, that's the thing. And another thing, um, I didn't have this in my notes, but I just kind of thought of it while I was remembering my memories. In group G, they were we were in a hotel, and this was for a concert where there were multiple artists. It was like a family concert. I got notified that a member of this group hates the suite that this person is supposed to stay in for a few days because the light switch to the bed, so the light switch of the bedroom part of the suite was too far away from the bed. So this person did not want to get up and have to walk to turn off the light switch because it was too far. So this person requested that either the room is changed, but if all the rooms have a light switch that are that far away, then the hotel to be changed. And keep in mind, this hotel, everyone was at the same hotel. So for this one person to make the request to switch hotels based off of the distance of a light switch it's kind of ridiculous for me it's not even like just this one person could get a new room at a new hotel because that means that person along with at least a manager and like a stylist because you know these celebrities can't be walking around bare barefaced even at the hotel they get their makeup done first so that means like we had to consider moving a bunch of people along with this person Luckily, it didn't end up where we had to book a separate hotel, but we did change rooms. There was the light switch. That was closer, I guess. 
yeah, that's a thing. Lastly, this is the one thing, like one big pet peeve I have while on tour, and this is not any one particular group. I can name multiple groups that have done this. A lot of, not a lot, a few, mm, not few either, some groups like to ignore rules, which to me is kind of mind-boggling. And it's a rule I consider to be very important. This could expose a lot, but has to be said. One rule is the no smoking rule. And if you've ever been backstage, you know if there is a rule with the venue or even hotel that you cannot smoke in their area, there will be signs everywhere. Like, it's so clear you cannot smoke. And in a lot of the overseas tours, meaning outside of Korea, I will make sure there are signs in both English and Korean that say do not smoke with in like a red bold font and I will put it everywhere. And the thing is, they just don't care. After the artists leave after a concert, a few groups I would walk into their room. Um, I kind of, not me specifically, but like there's always someone, I've done it too, there's always a staff who then sweeps through the room at the end to make sure nothing was left behind. Now, um, a lot of artists tend to leave behind like phone chargers or, you know, personal belongings like clothing. So we'll do a big sweep before we officially leave. So I was doing a sweep, you know, you see cigarette buds in the toilets. They didn't even bother flushing it or getting rid of the evidence. You would smell cigarettes in the shower and like you can tell they mass Febreze that stuff not specifically Febreze but like air freshener you can smell it mixing in with the smell of cigarettes and it's just to me I don't understand even if you go up to them and you say you cannot smoke here they will do it so it reached a point where now well not now because I'm not working anymore but after a few years of that I remember the first thing I did when I went to a venue was no longer me trying to convince these artists not to smoke. It was me trying to hunt down the venue manager to ask where they can smoke, like for them to give me options. And then I also ask what are the consequences if they do smoke in their room? And honestly, I think that's kind of twisted. It should just be as easy as go somewhere else to smoke or Go to the designated area. There's usually a designated area. A lot of times it's like the loading dock because the loading dock itself is very close to, off to the public. Um, there have been a lot of artists who do go to the loading dock and they do their business. Or sometimes there's like a separate room or like an area where they can. And a lot of artists have been nice enough to oblige by those rules and go to the designated areas. But there are a few who just refuse. And... I will always remember those people. Luckily, those people I didn't end up working with a lot. It's like one or two events, so they didn't really have too many problems. But at the same time, come on, you know, follow rules. It's very simple. Well, I'm not a smoker. Maybe it's hard to not smoke in your room all the time, but I, I don't know. That's just my experience. So I hope you like this video. I'm also going to film the best artists I've worked with and I think a few of you if you've been watching my videos you'll already know a few of them but I want to just go into that a little bit more and yeah so um, stay tuned if you would like subscribe to this channel um, like it leave comments I'm still kind of struggling with what kind of content I should make so I do appreciate the people who give me suggestions and ideas so if you have any continue to put it in the comments I've been slacking a little bit on responding to the comments and like liking them I recently got quite a bit of attention for one video and it wasn't even for the topic of the video it was like a little snippet which I am really grateful for but um, there were a lot more comments left on that that I was kind of unexpecting. That was unexpected. So, yeah. Thank you for that. And 
um, go watch my other videos when you have the chance. And Merry Christmas! Bye!